Hello and welcome back to the channel. iPad OS 18 Beta 3 just came out a few hours ago and of course I installed it on my test devices. There's not a ton here for new features, but it still feels more substantial than Beta 2, which gave us next to nothing. Now, if you look at the release notes, you'll see there are a lot of bug fixes in this build. And I would expect that because we're getting close to the time when we would expect the public beta to go live and non-developers to be able to test this. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into what new features have been noticed in Beta 3. In Beta 3, it seems like Apple is applying a default dark mode tint to certain third-party app icons that are maybe more basic, just like a solid color and then a glyph of some kind. You can see that really with YouTube and YouTube Studio here, which to my knowledge have not yet been updated for iPad OS 18. So if I go into the customize menu here and I go ahead and toggle dark mode, you see that they now follow the dark mode tint which is nice. Some more complicated app icons like Agenda and Geekbench 6 here don't have that effect applied. It's kind of nice that if Apple's able to just automatically do that and have it work pretty well, then they do. That's pretty cool. The default wallpaper set adds a new dynamic wallpaper, which changes its color throughout the day, which is actually pretty nice. You can see that if we go into the wallpaper picker here, I'm going to go ahead and just choose a new wallpaper. And in the picker, if you scroll down to where it says iPad OS 18, again, it notes here that this wallpaper can change dynamically with the time, with the time of day. So I'm going to pick that one, which is the first option. And if you just kind of let it sit here, you can kind of see the various states it can go between. Which is pretty nice. And of course, for this default, wallpaper you retain the ability to just pick a default color set so if you're someone who sticks with the default wallpaper each version this gives you a nice dynamic option beta 3 also brings us the insight feature in the apple tv app so if you didn't know insight is apple's name for amazon's x-ray feature the idea behind that feature is you're able to see information about the actors or in this case, even songs playing in a scene of whatever you're watching in Apple TV. So that's live here. Um, we can see that in action here. I'm not working across everything in Apple TV yet, but if I pick this episode of Sugar, I'm gonna pause on a random scene here, pull up Insight, and you'll see it's giving me information about the actors in this scene. Colin Farrell, of course, being the star of this particular show. And if I tap on his name card, he does a search in TV Plus, in the TV app, really, of the movie, shows, guest appearances, things he's produced, whatever information um, Apple has in their kind of aggregated data set there gets displayed here. So this is really nice. Obviously, it's probably more impactful on tvOS than it is on iPadOS, but the fact that it's here is still pretty cool. The icon changes continue. For whatever reason, the Maps icon is one that's getting a lot of focus, but the Maps icon was updated again in iPadOS Beta 3, which really shows itself if you're either using tinted mode or if you're using dark mode. You can see that in Beta 3, that circle in the upper right corner is a little more defined and filled in. So Apple's continuing to evolve their system icons across the various betas. And I'm assuming responding to feedback of how they look in intented or dark mode. So an honorable mention, this was actually in beta 2, but I apparently missed it. There is a new lock screen widget to support the upcoming Vitals Apple Health feature. So again, just kind of going into here, going to the widget selection, going to health. And then we can see we have this new section for overnight vitals. And they come in a small, medium, and large variant. And the whole vitals thing is really more helpful if you're like an athlete trying to track your recovery. But it's nice to see that's an option on the lock screen as well. So that's really going to be it for this one. Not a ton of new features, but Beta 3 feels a little more substantial than Beta 2. It has, of course, only been out for a few hours, so it's too early to know if it's any less buggy than Beta 2 was. But we'll see over time. If there are other features you notice in iPadOS Beta 3, either leave a comment here on YouTube or on the associated post at slatepad.org. 
and I think we're going to call it here. So thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That would help me and the channel out a bunch. And with that, I will catch you in the next one.